<laughs> Mosky Home Brewing here. We got Eric and Eric. Today we're doing a beer review on Victory Vine Victory Harvest Ale. Oh, Vine 2 Victory. It's wet hopped. Wet hopped ale. Oh, I'm already soaked. Drink now. Do not store. So just put it in my mouth. It is wet hopped, so instead of going through the hop growers, taking the vine, drying the hops, putting them in pellets or extract, or keeping them in cones, they just take the fucking hops off the vine, they throw them to the brewery, and the brewery says, oh, okay, we'll use them, we'll put them in our fermenter, and then <laughs> brewery shit says, happens. Oh, yeah. oh, hops! <laughs> and they just throw them in the fermenter, or the brew kettle, or whatever. They just use them within 48 hours, that's all I know. And this is a little bit of information. They come out with this harvest ale. And it's I don't know how it's gonna taste, but we're gonna try. So ready? Yep, I'm ready. Smell good. Hoppy. That smells really good out of the bottle. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Let's give it a pour. I'll put this one up here too. I love you. I think that's exactly what they're saying. Yeah. I love you. Hey, I saw you on the vine. Mm. First category is appearance. Appears to be golden, reddish in color. Good carbonation. Got lots of bubbles coming up. And the head is uh, off white, off white color, about half a finger. Definitely a more orangish or gold color to it. So I'm not really that into it. It's about appearance. I really could care less. <laughs> it looks like beer. It must taste like beer. Aroma is our next category. Smells like straight hops. Straight hops? Yeah, I get a strong citrus, pineapple, floral. Um, definitely floral. It smells sort of like fresh cut grass. Flowers, maybe? Mm hmm. You get almost like a pineapple in it, too. Maybe a little bit. But, I no. don't. Smells so great. Smells hoppy. I'm not drinking it, I swear. <laughs> Alright, ready for the taste? Yep. Alright. Smells great. But I'm kind of let down by the taste a little bit. I would kind of wish the taste had a little bit more floral and hop aroma to it, um, like the aroma did. Um, so that's what it's lacking. It's got like a slight bitter aftertaste, not very much. It's very hoppy. It's got like a little bit of hints of caramel in it. Um, it's kind of I kind of let down from the how how good it smelled to you know the lack of fruit. Fruitiness, sort of, you know. I feel like it's got a good bitter in it. It's it it bites you just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Maybe not as much as I w would have hoped, but um, I really wish I could taste more of like the grapefruit, pineapple, mm -hmm. citrus hops that I was getting from the aroma. I think that's what the hops they use, though. You know, with the wet hopped. I think that kind of takes away from it. Yeah, that could be. Mm -hmm. uh, I know they use citra and mosaic hops in this, so. That's where you definitely get that. Uh, That's where the aroma orange, comes from. Yeah. yeah. So. 
overall review of the Victory Harvest Ale, which is wet hop with the freshness. Bing. Um, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. And the reasoning being is mostly the taste. Um, the taste wasn't there for me. I had the aroma, the color, the mouthfeel, carbonation, the appearance, everything was there except for the taste. And I think that's one of the downsides of wet hopping actually. You don't get the concentration of all the hops that you would normally would maybe, don't know. Um, but in the taste, I really wanted more of that fruitiness, grapefruits, more from the citrus and mosaic hops rather than the maltiness. I guess for my overall review, um, kind of disappointed. Um, definitely thought it, you know, tastes different, judging based off of just the aroma. Um, you get more of a malty, maltier flavor than a, a hoppy flavor. Um, but you know, it's it's not bad. I uh, I guess I give it a three and a half out of five. I kind of liked it a little bit. Um, would I buy it again? No, probably not. But it's something that uh, it's worth giving a try. Um, there's not a lot of beers out there that you know do this wet hopped sort of style. So um, that's pretty unique, and I think it's uh, pretty cool, I guess. I mean, I think uh, if they were to do sort of just a regular hopped version of this, you probably get more flavor than you would aroma. But you know, um, that's that's one of the downsides of wet hopping. So crazy process from Victory. Mm -hmm. Glad they can pull it off. Um, maybe they can tune things a little bit more in the taste side. I don't know. Um, awesome job, Victory. But uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. That's a good job, but I wouldn't buy it again. So, guess yes. with that. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our page. Like this video. You leave your comments below. Tell us what you think about it. You liked it. Have you tried it? Um, let us know what you think. Uh, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram. We're on Untapped. Um, and we'll see you next time. For, Thanks. For, uh, huh? <laughs> you got something else? You got something else? Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, thanks. Thanks, see you later. Make sure to subscribe above or whatever they move that button. Oh, is it? Down. <laughs> oh. oh, it's down there. <laughs>